My name is Oluwa Femi Ajayi. Yes. Um, I I just finished my I finished my masters last year. I'm about to start my PhD, and then I have a foundation for sickle cell patients in Nigeria. I'm trying to empower them and reduce the level of stigmatization that sickle cell warriors face in Nigeria. So you're a student and you own a charity organization? Yes, yes. So I want to ask you, how have the xenophobia attacks affected you, your schooling, your oh, it, it, livelihood? It, it, yeah, it, 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 it has. Um, number one, they are very skeptical about foreigners especially Nigerians. They, anything that has to do with Nigerians, they don't want it. It affects you getting a good job, even if you qualify for it. I had that personal experience. And then, this thing of attacking, it has been going on and on and on and on, but the recent happenings was the worst. It was really, really bad, and the focus was so much on Nigerians, and I'm just wondering, what do these people have against Nigeria. Well, maybe there's something there's something we don't know because I cannot fathom why they hate Nigerians with so much passion. Okay. Do you have family back in South Africa? Mm, yes, I do. I have a cousin. I have cousins there. Yeah, okay. I do. So are they with you on this flight? Or just no, 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 no. They they are still there, but I chose to come home just now because um, I'm kind of scared. What I experienced this last time was, it wasn't so nice at all. Police everywhere about what I had, like 500 policemen trying to arrest foreigners because they are not legit. And then burning the, the South Africans going from um, town, central, to sunny side, attacking foreigners, stealing from them, stabbing them, burning their houses it, it's really 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 bad it's re it's bad are there any chances that they would also be embarking on the same trip you are also embarking on if it, if if they continue with this xenophobic attack there is a possibility that and i must say that i um, that i i really really appreciate the efforts of the man behind this very great gesture it was really it was like a a breath of fresh air for all of us. Why? Because now they they now see that Nigerians uh, they really have the interest of their fellow citizens at heart, and this action is sending is is it it is a sending a message. It's sending a message across to South Africa that yes, we are precious to our country, and if not for this action they probably wouldn't reduce the level of xenophobic attack. I think it's because of this that it's been reduced a little bit. So I thank the man behind this very great gesture. Chief Allen Ipechuku, thank you very much, sir. God bless you. God enrich you. Would you want to go back to South Africa or would you want to settle down in Nigeria? I, I, currently, I was just discussing my proposal my doctorate proposal with my my soon-to-be supervisor so on the on a normal level i'm supposed to go back but now i'm very scared i'm very scared because if i go back and then i find myself caught up in another xenophobic attack what would happen because there is no assurance that they would stop their xenophobic thing they, it's been on and on and on and there is no assurance that it will stop we are not sure, and one thing I know is they hate foreigners, especially Nigerians. I'm a Nigerian, so if I get got caught up in another xenophobic attack, what will happen? So I have to weigh my options properly. Nice hearing from you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wonderful flight back home. Wish you enjoy Nigeria. I will. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.